Hi guys, um, welcome to 123 Migration. Uh, today I'm just going to talk about the hot topic of childcare. Uh, personally, I, I don't think this course is a very good migration plan at all. Uh, I think if you do want to study um, uh, childcare and look after children and, and, you know, that's your passion, then by all means, it's, it's probably a, a good thing to do. However, um, if you're looking at it from a, a migration um, permanent pathway, for example, then I have a few uh, questions about it and what I want to do is just uh, give you some extra information. So firstly, let's have a look at what's happening with childcare. We can see that, uh, you know, obviously it's a vocational course, um, but you know, what are the statistics? Who are actually uh, getting permanent visas from this particular occupation? Remember, when you're studying a diploma of childcare, you're actually studying for the occupation of childcare center manager, okay? Not a child carer, not a childcare team leader or anything like that. It's a child center manager that you're actually studying for. So, if we look in the last five months, who has been receiving invitations for the 189 visa and no one has been receiving any invitations for this particular occupation across Australia? We can have a look here. Uh, this is the Skill Select website, which is, this is for the points tested visa for invitations given by the Australian government. And if you've already got uh, experience um, in childcare, you've already got a diploma and you've already gathered your experience, then maybe you can get it sponsored. But if you're thinking about studying childcare, you're at the start, then, you know, the issue is, uh, you'll see, is experience. So if we look at the Skill Select website, all we have to do is go click here on the occupation ceilings, okay, and we can see a little bit, uh, three or four down here, we see childcare centre managers, okay. We can see that there is a thousand uh, positions available, but then how many invitations for the last five months has been zero? So the thing is that no one is receiving any of these invitations. I know that last year, for the whole 12 months between the middle of last 2018 to the middle of 2019, less than five, less than five people. Um, received invitations at this level. So really no one is, seems to be converting from the child care centre manager from their studies into the permanent residency, okay? And this is because the assessment is very difficult to get. I can have a look at uh, what the assessment requirements are. And as you can see here, it says, yes, you need an approved uh, diploma. You need a, a diploma. At the moment, they're asking for approved. So you know, what does that mean? Obviously, that's uh, a lot more detail, but that's why you have migration agents to go through this detail. Um, but we've got employment experience. You need three years full-time employment experience. You can't do that on a graduate visa. It's impossible, okay, as a child care centre manager. And a child care centre manager is not a child carer. It's not a child uh, a team leader or a supervisor. It's actually the manager of the actual uh, uh, centre well, or the assistant manager, either one. But really, when you think about all of the responsibility, if you've got 30 kids, um, you know, that means you've got 60 parents, you've uh, got to deal with the government regulations, you've got to deal with health, you've got to deal with food, uh, you've got to deal with the facility, safety. I mean, there is so much responsibility. Um, and for someone just to come out uh, of a, a vocational course with a diploma and say, oh, please give me the responsibility of, you know, 30 children, 60 parents and all of this sort of stuff. It just doesn't happen. So the, the real problem is that the people that graduate with these diplomas can't get the experience that they need to obtain the assessment in order to apply for these invitations. Okay? It's not happening for them. So when you are considering studying uh, childcare, just be mindful that, look, it is cheap, it, it is on the high demand list, and you can get a graduate visa for it, right? Um, but the issue is that you won't be able to get your assessment, and you need the assessment for permanent migration, okay? So just be aware of those things. It is a very popular course. 106 schools offer it across Australia, 
And, you know, there's always lots of jobs in this area. It's projected to grow 20% in the next five years. Always lots of jobs. But the problem is getting the job at that top level. All right. So, look, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, always, you know, the thing is that before you choose a course, uh, if you're thinking about, um, you know, permanent residency, then it is always good to consult a registered migration agent here in Australia. Um, here, uh, myself, I always give written advice. I, I send you information via email. I'll send you links to all the websites that you, you need to, to investigate. Um, we can examine the best courses. We can examine all of these op options. We can examine uh, the best regions for your occupation, your studies, and also job options. Okay, We'll also look at the skills assessment uh, and the requirements there. It's not a matter of points and lists. You have to forget about points and lists and you have to get serious. Okay, So we also offer free student services um, in terms of free uh, visa application services. Um, we also will help you enroll in your course and um, as part of that we will refund uh, the cost of the migration plan. So we'll also provide free migration advice during the duration of your studies, okay? So you can't go wrong. Well, you can go wrong. I mean, there's always risks, but you know what I mean. I'm, I'm just trying to be helpful. Okay, guys, uh, I, I hope that you liked the video and um, see you next time. Bye.